What's up, guys? Uh, Ryan back here. So, I've been working on my brakes for the bike because they have been squeaking and some of them are a little soft. So, my solution to this problem is to get your biggest Allen key that they provide you with. This is the front brake. So, you come here. There's a silver screw. You can tighten this and loosen this to close in and create a bigger of a gap with the brake pad which is right here and the actual rotor disc brake so as you can see you want it to not scrape but still be tight so you need to find the perfect angle so this is the easy wheel to do it on but here is the problem on the back wheel you have this huge motor so it's really hard to access that silver screw that was on the brakes so here's my solution and it is a little time consuming but it's easy so what you do is you take off your actual brake caliper so your bike comes pre-built with the caliper on it so it's kind of like that so all you do is take this screw off and the screw behind the adjuster which is right there and take it off so I have my two screws here. So what you want to do is you want to take off the brake caliper and you want to loosen or tighten this silver screw however uh, as much as you want because you want it tight, the brake pad, you want this brake pad tight, but you don't want it rubbing, actually rubbing onto the rotor. So I've been loosening it and adjusting it. So I hope now is you know, the perfect fit. I've done this like three times already. It's pretty easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time and patience with your hand because this silver screw is very sensitive, so you want to be careful. It, they all use the same uh, Allen key, so you don't have to worry about the sizing. So yeah, just be very careful when you do this. Um, so I'm going to put the screws back in, and I'll show you guys how it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys, so I put the screws back on, but now you have to tighten them very delicately in a sense that you don't strip one of the screws. So do like five turns here and five turns here until you're perfectly tightened to how you want it. So you're doing this in small increments because this can strip if it's too far up and this is too low. So make sure you do them equally. So real quick, I'm gonna tighten them and show you how the brake should look afterwards. All right, guys, so I put the brake caliper back on. Here, I'll give you guys some flash so you can see it. So the caliper is back on. But the issue is, it is it the wheel turns perfectly fine, but you can hear it scraping. So we're going to adjust the caliper again in a sense that it stops scraping. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so again, we've taken the caliper off, and we're going to adjust it real quickly. We're going to screw it to the left just a tiny bit. Alright, so we adjusted it, and now we're going to put it back on. Alright guys, so we adjusted it to the perfect angle. So now, you can see right here, look closely in this gap under the disc. Perfectly fits in the middle of the two pads So now we're gonna test out the braking power But first before we do that we have to adjust The tensioning cord so this is really simple all you do is you loosen it And then when you loosen it you should feel the line it becomes floppy so you're going to get some needle nose pliers or any type of pliers and you're going to pull this as tight as you can without ripping it which isn't going to happen but so you're going to pull it as tight as you can then you're going to retighten the screw with your other hand so this has as much tension the uh, cord has as much tension as possible so when you squeeze your brakes and your handles it's gonna feel nice and tight and not loose. So we're gonna do that real quickly and then we'll test out the brakes. All right, so now that we've got this cable tightened, we're gonna 
do that. Okay, so what you guys just saw was this cable popped out of this. So what you can do to fix that is just pop it back in and tighten it. So when you tighten it, you can see this little screw come out. That's locking your cable, so your cable won't go anywhere. But after you tighten, you're going to want to re, like, loosen this screw and redo the process of tightening that cable so you can get the most tension in your brakes so they're not soft. So I'll do this again, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so we fixed up the brakes both front and rear. So now we're gonna check them out. So first let's just do a test. This is the front brake. Brake lights work. This is the rear brake. I like my rear brake a little bit more squishy, so that's my rear brake. And now we're gonna do a motorized test. So we're gonna lean this bike down onto the kickstand. And just to show you guys, hand on the brake and throttle Nothing else. All right, ready? Here we go. Perfect stopping power. I mean, this really is the best way to fix your brakes. Honestly, don't waste your time going to a bike shop. Just try this out before wasting a bunch of money.